so for making this shake effect first you have to adjust all of the clips and make sure those are adjusted properly and if you want to give some zoom in zoom out you can copy this add a keyframe at the ending and then at the start increase the scale like this so we can get this zoom out effect so after adding adjusting this we will add zoom in on this for that add a keyframe at the starting then go to the ending and at the ending increase the scale like this so this was the basic thing now repeat the same thing to all of the clips like the zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out to every single clip that you have on your main track after like adjusting the keyframe we will add some graph to it but have a look it should look that our clips are coming zooming in and zooming out in proper way then we'll add graphs so for that we will use ease out graph now it depends on you you can also add custom graphs uh, like you can also add some flow or ease out or different type of graph according to you need then uh, what you have to do you have to add animations to it so for that we'll go into the animation we'll go into the in animation and you have to like scroll it or slide it over this side and select the swing bottom make sure to use this one this is like a vertical to downside up to downside swing of uh, effect and set the duration of it to 0 0.2 now add the same animation to all of the clips that you have and make sure that the duration of it is exactly at 0 0.2 second not like a little bit more than after then your clip should look something this then we will add effect to it so first we will go into the video effects and go into the nightclub and over here we will add the shake effect like this add the shave effect adjust it add a keyframe make sure everything is zero then go to the starting like this go to the starting go to the suite set the suite intensity to 100 then go a little bit like on the center of part then set the suite intensity to zero and adjust it like this after adjusting this effect you have to go back to the video effects and you have to add the camera shake adjust the duration of it according to the clip make sure that the object is all videos and uh, go into the starting of the shake uh, and set the speed and intensity to 50 okay now over here we'll go back to the camera effect you don't have to do anything just set the object to uh, all videos the camera shake is adjusted according to what we need then we'll go into the video effects and we will search the rebound swing effect in the video effects so you can get this effect add this effect set the object to all videos then adjust the duration of it like this after adjusting the du duration go and add a keyframe at the starting set the speed to 50 size to 50 and intensity also to 50 and then go to the ending and at the ending we will add a keyframe and after adding the keyframe like this we will go into the adjustment set everything to zero okay after adding this effect uh, we have to add one more thing which will be the ripple so for that we'll go into the distortion and over here scroll down you will get a ripple effect add that effect set the object to all videos then adjust it like this then go to the starting add a keyframe set speed and twist to 100 make sure to add a keyframe at the starting then you have to go a little bit like at the ending but go a little bit on this side then set the speed to like 50 over here so we can get the ripple effect to the whole clip it depends on how much duration that you have on your screen then your effect is completed you can use the shake for your edits and i hope you have learned something new now just i'm copy pasting all of my uh, effects under every single clip and to, to the people who are watching it till the end thank you so much you guys take your precious time to watch my videos and you i think learn a lot of things from me so i am really really thankful to you that you guys watch my videos from starting to end and i hope you guys have learned something new in this video till then uh, we will meet in the next video and peace out